Hey, what is up, guys? Instant. Uh, welcome back to the video uh, and the channel and all that. Um, two response videos in a row. Good decision, me. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're replying to this guy, Just Jargon. He has 16k subs. I uh, stumbled upon this video the other day, and uh, I just wanted to reply to it. Because there was a point, I think about halfway through the video or something like that, that he makes that I just really needed to contest. So... We'll skip around, kind of talk about, like, I'll interject, obviously, when I have something to say, um, and then we'll go from there. This might be a bit of a long one. It might be, like, another 20-minute video or something. We'll just have to see. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for coming through, and, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Markiplier is a titan of the YouTube gaming community, on top of being one of the most popular independently owned channels. But unlike so many other creators over 10 million subscribers, Markiplier is almost unanimously loved by the general populace. On a platform where the top users are usually rich, egotistical, hateable Hollywood inserts, Markiplier is somewhat of an oddity. He grew popular by posting Let's Play content at a point where the algorithm had coincidentally shifted to favorite. But despite this being the source of his monetary success and name recognition, his kind-hearted reputation was a result of how he carried himself within these videos, and the inclusivity he promoted outside of them. Because I don't place value in things. I place value in people. The manner in which he spoke about his fans and how he viewed YouTube entirely helped instill a strong sense of community within his audience. Literally. And I'll prove it. But it was his verbiage in particular that drove the point home. Because he never directly equates himself to this community's leader, quote unquote. I am a doofy, pantsless gamer from podunk nowhere. And somehow I managed to amass a community that was recognized. As opposed to a lot of ego-driven YouTubers out there, Markiplier doesn't frame his audience to be a virtual high score or a means of expressing superiority. Yay, I got lots of subs. My subs are grubbing. I'll get to one million on hot tube real quick. But rather, he treats it as a family of sorts that he must continuously extend emotional support to, as well as a tool to extend similar support to others on a much wider scale. Now, I really hope that, I mean, obviously I've seen the video, so I'm saying this out of dramatic irony for you folks but man i really just hope that he's not gonna you know set all this positive stuff up and then try and bring some negative you know negative kind of stuff into it i mean you wouldn't do that right like you wouldn't compliment a guy and then simultaneously two minutes later try and uh call him out i mean i, I mean i don't see how that could happen I know there's people that need me. <laughs> and I want to be there for them so badly. I do. I want to bear the burden for them. I would bear it. <laughs> when he addresses his large... Also, that video made me cry every time I watch it, so thank you for reminding me of that, you fucking asshole. ...subscriber count, it's always done so in a manner that takes the focus off himself. Anyone can do what I have done. ...and makes the individual viewer watching feel as if they themselves are an equally important part of a strong and positive community that is directly making an impact on the world, which comes off as selfless and reflects positively on him as a result, and even more so when compared to how similarly sized channels treat their own fans. As much as it may feel like you're a passive viewer, you're on board in this community! We're all here together! It was this mentality that allowed Mark to become as widely loved as he has, combined with the fact that he consistently organizes events such as charities, which give a direct outlet for the group power that he emphasizes so much. There's a live stream going on right now, and you're not watching it! This is still up, by the way. <laughs> and that was it, because I used to make these stupid videos, like, when we were doing live streams on Twitch, and, and yet, like... I, I, this is still up here. Like, so if someone watches it, like, what's, what the fuck are they looking at? Like, why is this immortalized? And while it's not unheard of for large channels to treat their fan base in this manner, Markiplier is one of the most easily recognizable examples of it. So that being said, let's just coin this the Markiplier mentality. The concrete definition for which will be viewing one's fans as a community of people that can and should be used as a tool for positive means, both for the members within it, as well as those outside it. The one who acquired this fan base, however, is seen only as its humble guide rather than leader, and despite being responsible, responsible for this community, that individual is interchangeable and the audience they have acquired says nothing about their character or personal value. Granted, if a person were to follow this thought process, it would be more than easy to drop the latter half of the definition and see themselves as an extremely kind and charitable person for the positive role they see themselves having in other people's lives. But regardless, when taking Mark's words at face value, this is how the Markiplier mentality would be defined. 
Now, it's debatable whether or not this is how Mark himself actually views his fans, or whether it's just an intentional act to please the masses. Cheers has been a little long this month. I don't know if you guys knew that. And while I can't point to any specific example, rumors have circulated that Mark is somewhat egotistical in regards to his success, which does clash a bit with how he chooses to portray himself publicly. It wouldn't be surprising for anyone in his position, but it's hearsay at this point because it's unconfirmed and that's not where the problems lie anyway. Whether or not the Markiplier mentality is something Mark himself truly believes or not is irrelevant because the issues lie with the impact that it's had. Markiplier himself may or may not be greedy, ego-driven, or any number of things, though no one knows for sure. But this should highlight the fact that the Markiplier mentality can be an easy means of masking a person's true intention when pursuing fame on YouTube. Mark might be genuine, but the mentality he helped pioneer on YouTube has become extremely widespread and not everyone will be using it genuinely. What I mean by this is it's all too common for YouTubers of all sizes to say things like, I'm building a community, or I want to have a positive impact on other people, and have this be a thinly veiled... That face looks familiar. <laughs> also, the fact of where I paused it. Thanks me ahead of time, uh, but yeah, just I forgot. <laughs> I forgot he put Matt's face in here. So now the fact that this is coming out after the Mar the Mark Matt fucking hell, the fact that this is coming out after the game theory video is uh oh god, <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. But yeah, that's good shit, me. I think I unintentionally planned this, but who knows. <laughs> Veiled excuse to hide the fact that they just want to be surrounded by a group of people who admire them while retaining enough separation to not have to do anything in return. There's a psychological principle called cognitive dissonance, which is a feeling of mental discomfort one gets when they hold two conflicting beliefs. Typically, people will try as hard as they can to relieve this discomfort by either changing one of these conflicting beliefs or inventing logic that allows them to keep both without letting them contradict. In a way, this is what the Markiplier mentality allows for. YouTube has gotten a reputation for being a place where anyone can gain both widespread fame and money, which inevitably draws people in. But humans don't naturally want to think of themselves as greedy or attention-seeking, so they'll attempt to relieve this cognitive dissonance by justifying the fact that they want to become a YouTuber. Uh, a little side note, by the way, fuck that guy. Fuck you. Your intentions were not good, and that's the most important part of it. Yeah, the outcome has positives, but dude, you fucking suck, my dude. For other reasons, and that's where the Markiplier mentality comes in. In a way, it's the perfect scapegoat because not only can you use it to consciously convince yourself that you're not making videos for fame or money, but you can frame it as if you're being a generous and moral person by building a community to help others. This is the common mantra a lot of small channels will do. They say they want to help people with depression by making them laugh and being a go-to source of entertainment. And obviously, yeah, that'd be heartwarming. But these YouTubers are lying to themselves that they think that's the biggest reason they're making content. If people... Okay, first of all, Mr. Jargon, fuck yourself. Okay, no, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's sad that in 2019 we have to fucking explain jokes. But, <laughs> fuck sakes, dude. Like, honestly, oh god, I just kicked my fucking desk. Um, <laughs> that's not true. You're, you can't paint an entire category of people, which by the way, small channels, that's like 90% of fucking YouTube. But you can't paint all these fucking channels as, oh, well, I, uh, uh, you say you want to help people, but that's not allowed. That's not how that works. You don't get to just discount people's intentions just because, oh, well, there are people that have lied before. Have I seen small channels that claim to want to help people while simultaneously being complete assholes? Like, offline. Yeah. Yeah, there are. I've I've literally had friends like that. But does that mean that the rest of us don't fucking actually care? No. I mean, hell, personally, I mean, I want to make a video talking about this someday, maybe someday soon. But I personally have gone through. I've I've had severe depression for years. Severe anxiety, major depression, all of that. Suicidal thoughts, self-harm, all... I had, I went through all of it. Hospitalized, all that crap. And... Yeah. It had a big fucking impact on my life, and it still does to this day. I mean, I've lost friends because of it. Whether it was because they didn't want to talk to me because of it or something happened to them. I've lost people to stuff like this. And to say that 
oh, well, if you're a smaller channel and you're saying that you want to help people with depression by making them laugh, and you're saying, oh, well, you're just a liar, fuck off. Who the fuck are you to try and tell everyone else who is genuine and who's not? It's like, oh, well, if they're a small channel, clearly they're not genuine. That makes no fucking sense. Literally, oh my god. It's just one of the dumbest fucking claims I've ever heard. Like, how the fuck can you claim that, oh, well, I want to... It's like, okay, so in this guy's mind, someone, say, not even me, say some other small channel starts up, you know, they start making videos or whatever, you know, and eventually they start talking about depression and mental health and suicide and self-harm and all these really sensitive topics. In this guy's mind, they don't fucking give a shit. In this guy's mind, their reason is, oh, well, I just want to be famous and make money. And who knows, maybe his point isn't trying to discount everyone and it's just saying, oh, well, you know, that's not the only reason. Well, yeah, there's some people that want to do this so it can be their full-time job. I mean, hell, I'll, I'll be completely transparent right now. The reason I want to fucking do YouTube and be a YouTuber is... There's two reasons. One, to be able to grow my channel and be a big YouTuber. To affect the second reason, which the second reason is I want to be able to help people. My goal is to someday do charity fucking live streams, dude. I want to be able to fucking help people, and I want to be able to donate to charity, and I want to be able to make a difference in people's lives. Because YouTube has helped me so much, I... I feel like I want to, I not only do I want to, but I feel like I should give something back to the community. And this, the reason I'm replying to Mark, this video on Markiplier specifically is because he was one of the channels that I was watching for years. And this guy has helped me through so much. Not even just him, but the community has had such a huge impact on my life, and I cannot thank them enough. So to hear someone just say that, oh, well, if you want to do this, part of you just wants to be greedy and get famous and get money... I don't give a fuck about the money. Yes, I would love to be able to have YouTube be my job and be able to, you know, upload and stream and stuff like that and help people and then also be able to make a living off it and live comfortably. That would be amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to be able to not only have an audience that you can interact with, but also an, inter an audience that you can help? An audience that has that same mindset of you where everyone wants to be a family and that's what i want i mean hell even some of my friends do youtube because they want to make friends and they want to interact with people you can't just discount or try and solely someone's ex like intentions just because other people are like that not every smaller channel is out here for some cynical bullshit or to come here and say oh yeah by the way uh i must say that i care about mental health but i really don't kill yourself faggot. no <laughs> just that's not how that works so it's it's just ridiculous you can't claim that an entire huge fucking portion of all these different communities that are going on have these terrible intentions and i mean if you're doing youtube just to get rich you're not gonna like, you, you really won't. If you're doing YouTube just for the fact of, oh, I want to be big and make money and buy a Lambo or whatever the fuck, you're not going to fucking grow. Because people are at the point where they know what good fucking content is. So if you put out shitty fucking half-assed content and then you only give a fuck about money, people will know. You can tell. I mean, maybe it's just me because I, I said before in my MatPat video, but... I've been on YouTube in some kind of capacity uploading for about five years. Since I think like, almost actually almost six years, since I think 2013. So I've been on YouTube in some capacity like that for almost six years. And then, I mean with this channel I've only been here for I think three years, give or take. Um, because I had another channel for a couple of years. Um, but... And then not even just counting that, I've also been watching YouTube since like 2006 or seven. So I have been with YouTube through all of the ups and downs so far. I've been with YouTube from before they even fucking had a nice layout. I mean, hell, I had... I've been watching YouTube since, I think, before the first fucking iPhone came out. 
Like, that's... I've been watching for a long fucking time, and I know good fucking content when I see it, and I know when someone is being disingenuous. And I mean, if you're a fucking channel like this, and you upload content... I mean, you might be a newer channel. I don't know. I don't know how long you've been uploading. This is the first video I've ever seen yours. But, and I mean, Jargon, I doubt you're going to fucking see this, but if you do... Again, I have to fucking put this disclaimer in here because I had to with the fucking MatPat video and I'm going to have to here. I'm not making this as a hate video. And I know it may come across like that, but I'm making this to give you some criticism. Yeah, I'm a bit upset. But that's because you, you implying that 99% of small channels that say they care about depression and mental health and all that don't truly care or at least they mainly just care about money or growing, is extremely fucking disgusting. Because I understand that being skeptical and stuff like that, that's fine. Because I'm a skeptical, sometimes cynical asshole. But it's completely different to be skeptical or even cynical to implying that a whole majority of YouTube doesn't give a shit or they're disingenuous. That is not at all how it works. You can tell when someone is genuine and you can tell when someone isn't. So if you're going to bring up the fact of, oh, people are disingenuous, bring up fucking examples of that instead of just pointing to fucking Jake Paul and KSI. That doesn't fucking help. That doesn't affect the statement that you're making. Those are not small channels by any means. Those are some of the biggest channels on the fucking site, and you're claiming, oh, well, uh, since they're some of the biggest ones, that means all the smaller ones are assholes, too. That's not how that fucking works. I mean, you can go through my videos and my streams and all that, and you can know, and even through my Twitter, yeah, I'm brutally fucking honest, but I'm real. I'm real with everyone. The same way I am here is the same way I am in real life. I voice my opinion, I'm honest with people, and I try to help. Because I give a shit. And I mean, hell, I hate fucking... I mean, there was this example that... And again, I'm not bringing this up, and I hate... The reason I don't talk about donating or anything is because I don't think being like, oh, well, I donated X amount to charity, or I donated this time. It always comes across, at least to me, as, oh, okay, well, are they fucking doing it just for attention or just to look good? You know? And, again, I can tell when someone's being genuine and stuff like that, so that's not the biggest issue. But I never want to come across as trying to gloat or say, oh, look, I don't need to charity. But I, I'll probably talk more about this in depth some other time. But I lost my grandfather on my dad's side um, a couple of years ago to cancer, and it was hard, to say the least. And when I saw, I mean, I play the fuck out of Overwatch, as anyone here knows. Um, but when Overwatch added a fucking $15, when they said they were going to add a $15 skin, I was like, yo, this is the dumbest fucking thing in the world. Why would anyone pay $15 for a skin in Overwatch, out of all things? And when I saw that it was for the sake of cancer research, I, I had to. And... I explained to the fact to my mom why I was going to do that, and she completely understood. And it's... That's why I'm so upset that you want to sit here and just imply that all these kind of people are just disingenuous or they don't actually care. Because yes, there are people that won't give a shit, and those people are assholes. But you can't just say that there are people like me that do actually care, and I'm not even just using me as an example to seem like, oh, look at me, I'm different. But there's people that helped me realize that it's okay to be like this. It's okay to be emotional and open and want to help people. So this kind of mindset that smaller channels don't give a shit, it's not okay. It's borderline, I don't want to say toxic because it's not like, oh, evil, but it's a, it's a toxic mindset to have. It's really unhealthy, and it makes the rest of these channels, especially when you have 16,000 subs, you're preaching to 16,000 subs saying, oh, smaller channels don't actually care, and this video has almost 150,000 views. And you're telling all these people that, oh, well, you know, 
smaller channels don't care. Or, you know, they also want to be greedy and all this stuff. That's not going to help. If you say, oh, channels like this, and you give examples of channels that are greedy and only use, you know, mental health as like a tool, use those channels as an example. Don't try and bring down the rest of us just because there's a few sour apples in the fucking patch. I don't know fucking sayings. I'm an idiot. But, again... It's like Mark said, anyone can fucking do YouTube at this point. But not everyone can be successful and do good things. So when there are genuinely nice people out here trying to do good things for the community, for the world, for YouTube, for people, and you want to sit here and say, smaller channels don't care, that is when I will get upset and that is when I will respond to you and that is when I will make a full fucking 20 something mini video talking about it because that is not okay it's not okay to just blindly say oh well well uh, let me see yeah this guy he's not genuine uh, that that like 80% of the community not genuine you can't just fucking do that Again, it's really fucking obvious if you've watched YouTube for more than two days when someone is being genuine and when someone is using something as a tool to get somewhere. It's not that fucking hard to tell. So, again, use examples. Again, Jargon, I doubt you're going to see this. But if you do and you watch to this point, I'll give you some fucking helpful criticism from one small fucking channel to another decent sized channel. Dude, please, first of all, just use examples this is one thing i get on people about all the time is if you're gonna say oh well this negative thing's a thing use an example of it or two examples don't just sit here and say oh well uh this ghost thing happens so uh yeah everyone just believe me where's your proof uh it doesn't matter go fuck yourself like that's not how that works i mean if I, again with the fact that i'm going after semi decent sized channels i'm probably gonna get fucked up in terms of ratings on this video and comments and all that crap but I am I need to talk about this because I don't know if anyone else is responding to this video. It's a problem, and you need to not make problems where they don't fully exist. And again, like I said, if there are people doing this, and I know there are people that use this as a tool, and it's fucking disgusting. But do not say that the rest of us are that exact same way, because we are not. There's a good portion of us that actually give a fuck about our audiences and that want to do something good with our fucking channels. So don't just discount me or anyone else as haters or pieces of shit or people that use mental health as a tool. Because I swear to fucking God, anytime I see someone bring up mental health, I watch the fucking video. And I see, okay, do they mean the things that they're saying? Have they proven that they mean the things they're saying? Have they said this stuff before? Have they shown that they actually give a shit and if not then i fucking call them out for it so again this is the first video i've seen here so i can't i'm not going to judge you as a person or as a channel but you have a responsibility as having all these fucking subs and all these views to not spew such disingenuous rhetoric dude like you need to actually think about the things that you were saying and not just spew random bullshit of huh well there's like five or six people that do this one thing. Let's say that a hundred do it. That doesn't help. That doesn't help anything. That just breeds more discourse and more disgust, and it's not right. And it makes other smaller channels than you have a harder time growing because people that have seen your video are going to go, Oh, well, um, I saw you make a video on depression. You're, you're, you're using it for views. And it's going to make all of us that have actually gone through this shit and actually want to help people not have to be alone or feel alone. It's going to make all of us look like fucking pieces of shit just because you think that we all are. But I'm going to fucking end this video here. I know it's abrupt. I just, I, I said what I needed to say. So again, Jargon, if you watch this and you watch through the whole thing, thank you for watching. And again, anyone from his fan base, if you come to watch this video... Feel free to leave a dislike if you disagreed, but if you agreed, please leave a like. Um, otherwise, leave a comment down below what you disagree with me on, what you agree with me on, whatever. 
um, what your opinion is on what I said, and then we can go from there. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. It really does help with me trying to get back in the swing of things. And I promise you guys that next week we will be getting non-response videos. Um, or at least take a week break from response videos. So um, I'll see you guys uh, next week. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And again, if you guys are going through this stuff, I'll leave links in the description to suicide hotlines, all that kind of stuff, depression hotlines. Um, and I will leave links to my Twitter, Discord, all that stuff if you guys want to talk to me about anything. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys have any experiences or anything, let me know in the comments or on Twitter or Discord. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you guys next week.